Hey everyone, it's Jen and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another video of my public speaking series. In this video, I'm gonna teach you what to do and what not to do with your hands during a presentation. So there's some to do's, some not to do's, but we're gonna cover it all so you feel confident in all of your hand gestures and movements during your next presentation. So let's get into the video. So number one is no fidgeting. So your hands, I, I tend to do it. If my hair's down, I'll go like this. I'll fix that. I'll fix my necklace. I'll fix my blazer. I mean, it depends on who you are. Like you might fix this and don't play with your watch. Don't play with any rings that you might have on. This is really, really difficult for me as a woman when my hair's down. So I tend to wear my hair up when I do presentations. So I don't fidget. It's hard to like, I get it, but it makes you not seem confident and that's not the message you're trying to get across. So no fidgeting. Number two is please, 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 do not put your hands in your pockets. That is one of, this is like a really big pet peeve of mine when someone's presenting is they put their hands in their pockets. You don't want to put your hands in your pockets. You don't want to do this. Don't want to, if I had back pockets, no pockets, no pockets. None of any kind, I don't care where they are, take them out of your pockets, okay? So my number two tip is to keep your hands by your sides. Now, it may seem a little uncomfortable to do that because you aren't used to keeping them by your sides. Maybe you're putting them in your pockets, which we already talked about, or maybe you're someone who puts your hands in front of you. That is something, I don't know, it's, it's like you're protecting something I don't know it just it isn't a good look it makes you look less confident other people sometimes they put their hands behind their back I don't really understand this I think sometimes it might be a cultural thing but putting your hands behind your back it's it, people tend to like move around and do that they it's just it's not confident it doesn't make you come across as an expert in whatever you're speaking about so keep your hands by your sides, not in front, not in back. Number three is move your hands with purpose. What do I mean by that? So I tend to use my hands a lot when I speak, all the time. However, when I'm in a presentation, I'm careful to use my arms and my hands when it's necessary. So if I'm talking about a really big change in something, I'm gonna move my arms out. If it's a very small percentage increase, I'm gonna move my hands together. If something is tall, if something is low, if something is high, if something is low, if something is right in the middle, these are appropriate times to use your hands. You can use your hands like this for a small amount. Move your arms when it's appropriate. If you're trying to make a point and you're really trying to emphasize something, this is what you do. You're really trying to emphasize something. You're moving it forward. People are like, okay, this is a big deal. If you're trying to be, now we need to pull back, we need to pull back and you can use your hands to do that. Otherwise, as we talked about before, keep your hands to your side and move them only with purpose to help enhance your presentation. My final tip, which is a really big one and you probably don't even notice if you're doing this, is no pointing. No pointing. So when you are presenting in front of a group of people and someone has a question, you want to put your hand out like this. Yes, did you wanna add something? Yes, did you have a question? This, that, that person said this. This person brought this point. Thank you for bringing that point. Not, okay, that person there said that they wanted that. They wanted that and they said this. That comes across as negative and it's just no one wants to be pointed at, let's be honest. There's actually a rule at Disney that the employees cannot point at people. So if you go to Disney, you'll see they, they do this, makes sense. Anytime you're about to speak to someone or someone has a question, put your hand out like this, rather than being like, yes, what's your question? That is just very directive. It's, it's just not a good feeling. You will find much more success putting your hand out like that. Great point, not great point, great point. Thank you for contributing. That was a great thing that so-and-so said. Thank you for adding that. You see, you get my point, no pointing. So those are my five tips on what to do or not to do with your hands during your next presentation. Thank you for watching this video. Have an amazing day. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends, your colleagues, and in the comments below, let me know what types of public speaking videos you are looking for next. Thank you so much for watching and good luck in your next presentation. Bye.